people uh, getting a chance here the last few games to, to be on the power play. Uh, how do you feel that you've uh, progressed there as a uh, net front guy? And just what are some of the, the biggest challenges of that role? And is, is that a role that is that the role that you played uh, previously at, at other levels on the power play? Yeah, it was just uh, just last night for me, uh, first time in a little bit. So uh, we didn't get too much time. Uh, obviously, the boys scored there at the end. And then, uh, yeah, just kind of didn't get settled in the zone. But yeah, I played uh, power play pretty much my whole career. So um, if that's somewhere I can help and, um, you know, try to try to spark our second unit, then uh, I'll try my best to do that. And uh, biggest challenge is probably just establishing uh, zone time and, and puck possession. I think uh, we got to do a better job at that. And, uh, I think once we're settled, we can get chances and shoot the puck and uh, create some chaos. So I think uh, that's the biggest thing. Is there somebody uh, in, in the league, uh, past or present, that you look to uh, as, as far as kind of patterning your style, that net front style after that player? In the power play specifically? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you can look around the league. There's a lot of guys. Um, you know, I don't, take, I don't try to style myself, but I do watch guys, um, you know, and how they're, how they're successful. Uh, obviously, Kreider's having a great year in the power play. So whenever you watch highlights of him, you kind of just take notes of what he's doing or how he's getting open or how he's getting his, his stick on the puck. So uh, just big guys like that, anyone that really uh, is effective in front, you just kind of watch and uh, look for their little tricks and uh, um, stuff like that. Also, uh, how much more comfortable do you feel now uh, in the face-off circle? You've, you've made some strides there from last season. Uh, what's been the, uh, just the, uh, how have you improved? Uh, is it just a matter of, of, of learning more uh, linesmen, uh, opponents? Or, or yeah, I think it's all the above. I think uh, our face-off group uh, works on it a lot in practice, and uh, we're always kind of talking to each other. and. Uh, working through different things and uh, we have like pre-scouts and stuff um, for uh, centers that we're going to be facing that night or uh, that upcoming game so uh, I think that's kind of the biggest thing just repetition knowing what works knowing what doesn't uh, knowing your opponent and then kind of just uh, getting a relationship with some of the linesmen I think that helps too to get a little bit of uh, you know leeway or kind of just a second chance if, if you jump early or, or whatnot. Thanks. Max Baldwin. A bit. The look that you guys have gotten recently with Sedina on your wing, how do you think that kind of changes the makeup of, of that line you guys have on? Yeah, it's been good. It's, uh, you know, I think we need to create a little bit more um, offensively. Um, but I, th I think he's a good player. He works hard. Uh, he can really shoot the puck. So I think whenever we get him a look, um, you know, that's good. And as long as he keeps shooting and, um, you know, kind of getting that puck to the net, I think me and Aaron do a good job of, um, you know, creating a cycle or creating chaos or whatnot. So. Um, yeah, we just got to get pucks to the net, uh, hang on to the puck, and um, that's the biggest thing for us to kind of uh, improve a little bit and, and keep going. How much does it help you to have, I know there's been some rotation, but you and Ernie have been pretty consistently together most of the year. Like, I think maybe more more uh, familiarity or more uh, consistency with the alignments than we've had in previous years. Yeah, it's been good. I like being with Ernie. He always plays hard, he plays the right way. Uh, we're on the same page with what um, you know, each other are thinking and what the next play is going to be. So um, it's nice to have consistency for sure. I think that creates good minds and um, kind of good chemistry. And, um, you know, it's been good playing with them. Uh, I like playing with her. And then down low, it seems like you're pretty, it seems like pretty comfortable holding on to the puck now with, against pressure, against contact. Is that an area you feel like you've taken a step this year? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, you can never kind of get too good at that area. So I uh, try to work on it after practice. Uh, on video, kind of see where uh, you can turn out a pressure or um, take some contact and spin off. So uh, I think I've made strides in that area. And I think, uh, you know, as long as we're holding on to it down there and um, like I just keep saying, creating chaos and holding on to the puck, um, you know, we'll be good. I feel like that's like something about the NHL game that maybe is different from, I think Dylan has used the phrase before, like a lot of the time nothing happens with the best players in, in junior. That isn't necessarily the way that the game works. Is that kind of one of the adjustments you've made? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, the biggest thing, if there's not a play to be made, you just you just don't force it. Um, it's okay if there's a shift that goes by <clears throat> and, you know, nothing happens. So um, as long as you're just smart with the puck and, and know what you're doing with it, I think that's the biggest thing. So, um, you know, it's it's okay if you're in their end and kind of grinding them, even if it doesn't come up anything, it's just wearing them down and making some momentum happen. So, um, yeah. Thanks. Charlie Johnston. 
Troy Setcher and Jacob Brown out on the ice with the team, obviously, and non-contact jerseys. But what's it like having them back and being able to feel like you guys are becoming a full team again? Yeah, it's good. Uh, it's nice to see those guys back with us. It's been a long uh, few months for them both, uh, kind of just skating by themselves, working really hard to get back in shape. So um, it's nice for them to be back out there um, for them personally and, and then for us as a team. It's nice um, to always get guys back. Tough loss last night. What's it going to take and what needs to be switched up for the game tomorrow night to pick up two points in regulation? Yeah, I think we just need to take care of the puck. Uh, it's the biggest thing, I think, uh, when we're smart with it and we're making good decisions. We're a really good team and uh, we're on the same page with it. So uh, that'd probably be the biggest thing. Uh, I think we played some good hockey in the last little bit here. I uh, just got to get back to that. Halfway through the season, how would you assess the first half of the season for you guys? It's been good. I think uh, we've taken a lot of steps in the right direction to play the right way and and play our system. Uh, obviously, in any year, there's going to be ups, ups and downs. So you just kind of got to get through those and, um, you know, stick with each other and stick with the game plan and, um, you know, just keep going. We got a, we got a hard back, uh, back half of the season here. So I uh, just got to keep pushing and be ready every night. All right, Ragnar. Hi, Michael. Here. Um, I want to go back to what Ansar asked you. I think, uh, Everybody that's followed you know that you've excelled as a net front presence on the power play. How difficult is it to maintain that sharpness when you're not consistently on that unit? I know practice makes perfect, but don't you have to actually play in order to stay sharp? Um, not quite. I, I don't really find that. I'm not sure about other guys, but um, that's just why you pay attention to what they're doing in practice in the games. And, um, you know, you, you watch – um, the video of the power player watch the video of the PK and um, for me it just it's just it's kind of a natural position so it's okay um, to kind of be off it for a while um, for me personally so it's more the routes and kind of kind of what uh, what routes you're running that can uh, you know get away from you since you're not running them so um, but that's that's kind of an easy uh, transition once you get back out there so um, it's nothing nothing crazy do you feel then you don't feel I, I know there's always pressure when you're an NHL player, you don't feel any, when you do get that opportunity that you don't put, have internal pressure that, geez, I got to do something right now or else I may not be on it. I think you always feel pressure, whether it's power play or not. I think you got to play good hockey um, to stay in the league and stay, um, you know, a good player. So um, I definitely feel pressure uh, being on the power play. I want to make something happen for the team and, um, you know, want that job. So I think uh, everyone in the room can kind of say the same thing uh, when they get on the power play or any, any role like that. I think uh, you just kind of got to take it and uh, do your best to help the team and, um, you know, capitalize when you get a chance. Zadina seems to be going through some trials and tribulations. I know that you guys have been teammates uh, here in Detroit, obviously, and also in GR. Have you been able to offer him if you talk to him at all to you know make sure that his mindset that his head's pretty clear yeah not not a whole lot about his mindset or whatnot um at the end of the day you just got to support your teammates and uh be there for him and give him a pat on the back so um i think he's done a good job i think he's he's working real hard he's out there late in practice he's in the gym um that's just part of the job there's just a lot of ups and downs and i think he's handling it while he's working hard and um you know whatever he's going through it. If he's going through anything, he'll get through it. If he just works hard, that's all. Great. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate it. Thanks. Last question, Ted Colton. Hey, Michael, what do you guys got to do to get back playing that team defense that, you know, was more apparent last season. It seemed like you guys, you know, statistically, you guys are, were much better defensively last year than this season. What do you see that you guys haven't been doing as much? And what are you guys going to need to get back to that level? Yeah, I think for the most part, as of late at least, I think we've been pretty good in our own zone. It's just uh, giving up some rush chances and um, not taking care of the puck, um, especially at the offensive blue line. So I think once we get back there and kind of get, um, you know, in our D zone, we're doing an, we're doing an okay job. Um, I think it's just more so not spending too much time there and not giving them uh, the other team rush chances is the biggest thing. So, um, yeah, we just got to take care of the puck and, um, you know, not play as much in our own end, especially off the rush. Sounds good. That's all I need. Thanks, Michael. All right. Those are all the questions we had today from Michael. We'll be back to Coach Blashville.